Welcome to Beer Pong in the Philippines. Here in the ocean, nobody can hear you screaming. Today we are in Argao. This is a small town on the island of Cebu in the Philippines, and we're looking for a traditional way to get drunk. Let's go. Here in the ocean, nobody can This is the coconut tree. This one, that one. Yeah. This one is the container for the tuba. Tuba actually re refers to the nectar yeah. coming out of the coconut tree. Yes. And then the alcohol that you make from that is called... When it is aged, we call it mahalena. They take the bud yes. here, then they cut it, they cut and then they collect so the nectar that comes out. And you have to put it into an empty Coke container. This tree can keep making nectar forever? Until it dies. Until it dies? Yes. Wow. So this is like an alcohol tree. Yes, yes. Kind of. It's alcohol tree or... That's amazing. You want to taste the toba? Yeah. <laughs> wow, see, I could not do that. I would break that right off. There's about 200 milliliters of liquid in there, and he's going to dump a little bit of that into a cup. Thank you, my man. Nice work. Thank you. Salamat. <laughs> I can't get drunk off of this. Uh, so it's nearly pointless, but let's try it anyways. A little sweet, yeah, pretty sweet. bitter. A lot of ants. In six to one to drink tuba. <laughs> Your house is where the magic happens, where this becomes alcohol. That's what I'm really here for. Welcome to the B story. What we're gonna do is another cultural drinking exchange. I really wanna bring the sophistication of American drinking techniques to the people of the Philippines. I'm joking about the sophistication part. Okay, calm down already. White guy who lives in Southeast Asia who's offended too easily. So the first thing we're gonna do, we gotta go to the store to get snacks. You can't have a drinking time. You can't have a drink. You can't drink without snacks. Hi. Hey. The processing area in your home, yeah. it's just right behind your house. So this is now the product of the Manangiti or Tuba Gatherer. I gotta say, if I had a distillery behind my house, I would drink a lot. We saw the tuba, and then once you tank that, you bring it in here, where yes. you, you put it in these big containers, yes. you don't add anything. No, 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 nothing. You just keep nothing. it like this yeah. and you just wait. You're aging it about a month, and oh. here and there, you're just removing some of the sediments, sediments or dead oh, yeast. That's, that's and that's, that's about so. it. For the tourists who come here with their little sun caps and the sunblock on their nose, <laughs> he puts it in these cute little bottles. Oh. And for the locals, the locals he puts it in here. <laughs> That's what I like. I want to actually. I want to get one of these on my plane ride home. Do you think? <laughs> do you think I can bring this on the airplane? Put it in the overhead bin. Oh, this is the finished version. How, how strong is the one in this bottle? We have a local beer here called Red Horse. Red Horse. So just the same they pick. This is, I think, seven point plus. How is the hangover on this? Pretty good hangover. The good of tuba is that there is no hangover. Just take a bath following morning and feel you can really feel fresh. You have to take a bath in this. No, not to oh, okay. We're in town. This is town. This is the center of town. Hi there. Snack time. Yeah, we need some chichiria. Okay. Over here. Okay, we got our snacks. On to the next thing. I've never had fried chicken feet. I didn't know that was a thing. Is fried chicken feet, it's better than normal chicken feet? Yes, it's better. Crispy fried chicken feet. I've never, I've just had, I've had normal chicken feet. I've had boneless chicken feet. But like many things in life, they gotta be better when they're fried, right? I'm not gonna need a napkin if I never get my hands dirty in the first place. Smart. Gravy with chicken feet. Oh, it's important to just squirt the gravy down on the plane. Oh, that's good gravy. That's like that KFC country gravy. Mmm, crispy. Do people usually have a camera when they eat here? No. Oh, that's unusual. This is really good. The chicken foot with this gravy, it is just like KFC. And it's only a matter of time until KFC puts this on their menu. They could learn a lot from this young lady over here. Oh. Into the glass. This is the oh. Moves. I like your style, bro. Now first, you can't just chug it. You need to, you need to bring it in. Oh, there's a spider web on top of there. Let's give it a taste. That is like super dry. It's a little sweet, a little sour. I can already feel this one. I wanted to be able to kind of learn what people here are doing as far as drinking, drinking culture in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. And then later today, hopefully I can share some of our 
sophisticated American drinking culture yeah. too. Okay, we've eaten, my energy is up. We need to find some cups for a game that we're gonna be playing tonight with the local towns, town folks, townies. So we need a cup, but we need a cup that like has that big of a opening. Oh, we got a little convenience store over here. Let's see if they have cups. How are you doing? Oh, bro, what are you drinking? You drink? What is it? Sandwise 65, hard. <laughs> yeah, I want a drink. Uh, yeah. What's your name? Ariel. Ariel, that's oh. a cool name. Oh. My name's Sunny. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? That's not strong. Uh, USA. We're making a video about uh, tuba. Oh, it's very yummy. You like it? Yeah. Ooh, that's good. What time did you start? Two o'clock. Oh, that's good. This is a three days drink. Three days in a row. Oh. You're looking pretty good for three days. Oh. I can do about half a day. All right, cheers. Hello, do you have any cups? No, okay. Oh, is he doing dance moves too? Yeah. Dancing. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is like the disco store down here. Pharmacy. Would a pharmacy have cups? I'm not sure. There's no way they have cups here. Maybe here. Do you have any cups? All right, cool. We got cups. 40 pesos. 40 pesos? That's a good deal. Thank you. Look, I'm going to tell all my fans to come get their cups here, okay? We're ready to party. Welcome to beer pong in the Philippines. Today I'm gonna to teach you the basic simple rules of beer pong and then we're gonna drink some of this bahalina. Here are the rules. There will be two people on each team. You will stand behind the table and you will throw the ball into the other team's cup. If you put it into their cup, they must drink. That is their punishment, but also really the reward, if you know what I'm saying. So I will throw one ball and you will throw one ball. For example, for example, for example, oh! So then this cup would move to here and you would drink and you would drink. Okay, let's play. Oh, so sorry. Good, good, all right. Here, my man, you wanna go first? You feeling good? You feeling lucky? Here we go. Arc it, arc it, oh! Please. Have a drink. Yeah, oh, not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. <laughs> Just a drink. Oh, we lose. Cheers. Mmm, a delicious punishment. A little sour. Your name is? Can I call you Iceman? Yeah, we need cool nicknames. You're Iceman, I'll, I'll stay sunny side. That's my cool nickname. Oh, let's go. Oh, what you gotta do is get a nice parabola going. Okay, not like that. They got another one. Oh my god, you finished it already. You're really killing this stuff. Hold on, let me show you this new trick I learned. Doesn't that look pretty cool? I've yet to score. We are now losing at my own game. I'm an embarrassment to my country. Oh no! We're coming back. Soon. It's good. No, it's good. That's how it's done, Leia. Humble. Stay humble. Drink up. Mmm. You just killed that. By the end of this game, someone will be dead, and it's probably gonna be me. Yeah! Sorry, I got a little excited there. That's yummy. Every time she's killing it. Yeah. I've scored the least out of anybody. <laughs> oh my god, this stuff. I want to admit it to everybody here, but I'm kind of drunk already. Okay, you have three left, we have five left. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my stomach is a turbulent storm of acid right now. Just end it, man. Just end it. End it. Just let it be over. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so guys, um, we learned a lot today, okay? We learned about this new type of drink and they learned about a new type of game that helps you get drunk more quickly. Um, and for me, I learned how to get my ass beat in beer pong in a country where they've never played it before. 